welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brooke and I'm so glad you guys are here. That was really high pitch. Today's video I am beyond excited for. I swear today, this weekend, last week, I have just had the most busy, haven't had time to chill at all. And tonight is basically just gonna be an ultimate Christmas night routine. And I need this more than anything. Like we are bringing out all of the stuff. So what is on the agenda for tonight? I finished all my homework, I got all my stuff done, and now it is time to relax. First we're gonna have some ultimate self-care, and then we are going to take a nice bath. I haven't used my bath yet, but we'll get into that. We're gonna bake cookies, make hot chocolate, we're gonna make a Christmas bucket list together, which I'm so excited about, and I do it like every single year. I know I'm 19, but still. We're gonna watch a Christmas movie. We're gonna get all comfy in our new little Christmas decorated room. If you're as excited as me, join the night with me and do it right by my side. Get some hot chocolate, get some popcorn, get some cookies, and have the night begin. First on the agenda is some self-care. So let me change into more of a self-care-ish vibe. I'll be right back. I have this little velvet bathrobe that I think is really cute and I've been waiting to wear it so this is the perfect night for it. First thing we're going to get into is kind of the pre-shower and bathtub self-care. I'm going to start with some of my Olaplex products. I have the number 0 and 8. So this one is an intensive bond building hair treatment and then this one is just a moisture mask. This one kind of dries out your hair so this one's kind of moisture it. So, my hair is looking a little greasy, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna wash it tonight. I don't think I've been using this long enough to say if it works or not, but I haven't seen any like major improvements, but I think if I use it a little bit more for a little longer. I just know these products are super popular. Now that this is in my hair, I'm gonna go in with the Bond Moisture Mask. Now that my hair looks 10 times more greasy, we're just gonna put in some argan oil from Morocco. I just put that literally at like the very root of my head. I massage it in with my fingers and then I use like this little tool because that's what I see everyone doing. Pretty much just like massage my scalp. I'm gonna pull my hair back and then we can continue. Now that my hair is all up, that is pretty much all I do before I... I'm going to do all of my skincare either in the shower or after, so let's start the bath. I am not gonna lie to you guys, I never thought I would be filling myself in my bathtub. Life sometimes brings you to weird places. But I thought, you know, while I'm in here, it might be the perfect time to put on a face mask. This is a green tea refreshing mask. I use these all the time. I literally got it at like TJ Maxx or something, but it always just makes my skin feel like super refreshed. I'm gonna try to relax now because I have a hard time relaxing. <laughs> Maybe do some breathing exercises. I don't know. Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, I am all out of the shower now. I feel literally so clean. I just moisturized, put on deodorant, and now we're gonna do the rest of my skincare. This is what I use to wash my face in the shower. This is my all-time favorite moisturizer. Favorite moisturizer. It literally works so good for me. I'm obsessed with it. It doesn't dry out my skin like every single other one does. Okay, so this next thing I do about three times a week. It is the Elemis Gentle Rose Exfoliator. This is my all-time favorite skincare product. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but this has lasted me a while. You don't use like a lot, and I really do think it's worth it. Next, this is my holy grail I use it all the time, is the like Complete Moisturizer. I know nothing about skincare, all I know is that if I do a lot of products or try a lot of products, my skin will instantly break out. I have like super sensitive skin and this routine has just worked for me for forever, so. Then I'll just take the Provence Beauty Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I only do this a couple times a week. I don't even know what this does, honestly, but I just heard that vitamin C is really good for your face. Lastly, I'll just go in with the Milk Makeup Cooling Water for my under eyes. 
I really need to get like festive pajamas. I have them at like home home, but not at my apartment at school. I need to get some of those because like this is seriously lacking. I think there's some at Target. Maybe I will do that. Also, I know you guys really love my Christmas videos. So let me know any more Christmas related videos. I have a lot of plans and I'm really excited for them. I just feel like I really needed this night. Like I feel like I've been super stressed out and overwhelmed and I just needed a night where I stopped doing homework I stopped doing work just kind of relax and now they're all clean let's go make some cookies let's make some cookies I'm just using this chocolate chip little cookie mix from Whole Foods and I have been like craving chocolate chip cookie for a while now and I can't wait it might be an insane hot take but I'm like kind of over the sugar cookies with like little pictures on them I don't know I don't know did I grow out of it Okay, you're gonna need a mix, measuring spoon, some softened butter, and an egg. So let's put all of this stuff into the bowl. All of our ingredients are in the bowl, and now we are going to mix. I'm so beyond excited. I guess I could have made the butter <laughs> a little softer. We have finished mixing and now we're going to shape our little cookies. Oh, and our oven is ready. Perfect time. I'm going to throw these bad boys in right after we finish doing that. So now that we have our cookies, I'm not gonna lie, I did bite into one. I have my notebook and all sorts of green and red markers. We are now going to make our Christmas bucket list. So I think the first thing I want to do is, is go Black Friday shopping, which I know is not really Christmassy, but get all of the gifts, get a Starbucks holiday drink, stay up all night, the start of Christmas, right after Thanksgiving. It's a little earlier for me, but that's okay. Next is a classic, is to make gingerbread houses. This is something I say I want to do every single year and I never get the opportunity to, and that is to go ice skating. I love ice skating. Fun fact, I actually used to ice skate when I was little. Next, I want to have a holiday bake-off with someone in my family, probably my dad because he's like a cooking expert. I'm like obsessed with all of the holiday cooking competitions and baking competitions. Next is to do a Disney and Nickelodeon Christmas special marathon. So find all of, you know, my favorite TV shows when I was little and watch the Christmas episodes. I really want to do kind of like a Christmas DIY for one of my gifts this year. So just making something for somebody a little bit more sentimental and I feel like I just never get the time to do it. So I want to do that. What I also want to do is get all of my family matching Christmas pajamas. I don't know if they will participate. They better because I know they're watching this right now, but I really want to do that. And I just want for it to snow. And I know I'm not in control of that, but I love when it snows before Christmas. After Christmas, when it snows, I'm kind of over it. But since I'm in Arizona right now and I live in Boston, when I go home and if it snows, I'm just, it's really exciting. So those are just a couple things on my Christmas bucket list. Let me know down below what are some of your guys' you know, things you want to do before Christmas to get into the holiday spirit. I'm going to doodle this up, make it really cute, and put it on my desk. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are going to do. Okay, it is now around 10.30 and I think it is officially time to pick out a movie to watch tonight. I actually already watched a couple Christmas movies, but I think I'm going to find a classic and go with that. So let me do some looking. 
So I actually just finished watching um, A Bad Mom's Christmas and it is like one of my new favorite movies. It is so good. Even if it's not Christmas time, it's honestly a really good movie. It is literally so funny. I can't. It's such a good movie. Pretty exhausted now. So I think I'm just gonna go to sleep, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make in a super relaxing night that I like really needed. So let me know what other Christmas videos you guys want or just videos in general. I love you all so, so, so much and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!